Hey, what's up? Diego Lopez here for The Productions, and today I'm going to show you how you use trap code form, trap code particular, trap code horizon, and trap code uh, star glow. So, uh, if you see in the preview, I use an OBJ model of an of an airplane, and today I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we are going to make a new composition and in this case I am not going to do HD because you know the screen recorder and all that don't leave you to record okay so I am going to do it uh, half HD 960 by 540 and 23 frames per second and 10 seconds long so okay and now here we have our composition and we are going to start making a new solid and I'm going to make it comp size and it doesn't matter the color now I'm going to go to effect, um, let's see, trap code, form, in here we have, we have just the default and I am going to import a file and this case is going to be the obj, mm, let's see, here it is, it's a point in 747 and now we have the obj, we are going to shut off because we don't need that in here in the base form we are going to change the base form from box to obj model in here we have another that that says us which obj that we want and this case the boeing 747 and we wait for the loads and that's it uh, some people uh, have problem at the time of important obj what is that because when you install trap code form, it says you that you need to put two locations. The first location is to put the plugin, and the second location is to put the extension. What is the, the extension? The extension is the plugin that allows you to import the OBJs to After Effects. You see here it says obj for use with trap code form so if you import an an object and you don't have the the trap code extension in the place that you need it it won't load it won't tell you that that it's not the and it is not a format that after effects allowed but now that we can do that we are going to continue then i am going to make a new camera in this case, and I'm going to do it 24 millimeters, and that's let's see, okay. And now I am going to change the size because the default is to 200, and I'm going to change to 600. Sorry, 600 and 600. That's okay. Now I'm going to rotate with the rotation tool. And now he will have our model. And now I'm going to make the let's see a new solid. And I'm going to go to effect trap code. And I'm going to use Horizon. What is Horizon? Horizon is a plugin that allows you to make environment environment maps. Uh, what is an environment map? Well, an environment map. It's um. It's a photograph that you can rotate 360 degrees and the name is Eco Rectangular. If you see here, uh, this is these are the Eco Rectangular that come with Elementary D, a plugin that uh, Andrew Kramer from Video Copilot developed. And now we have here our map. And we are going to go to the Horizon. Well, we are going to change the name. Let's see, Horizon. And here, form. Form. See, I'm going to shut off the map because we don't need. It. In here, in Horizon, in here, in the tab of Image Map, I'm going to put in the layer uh, the default blur. And now. If I rotate the camera, 
the map also rotates with the with the camera and we are going to put it um, beneath the form because it is the background and if you see now all it is rotating well uh, now I am going to make a new layer uh, excuse me a solid and I'm going to do it comp size and I'm going to apply effect track code and let's see what it is particular and I'm going to use particular to make uh, the fake wine that that makes that the like like if the plane it is flying and I'm going to change some settings some settings uh, let's see first I'm going to change the mirror from point to box and why I'm going to make it a box because if you put uh, a point all the particles will come from uh, you know a point but when you are using a box all the particles will come randomly and it is better if you can if you want to make wine or dust or some mist point is for for another application and I'm going to change the emitter size in this case I'm going to do it 2000 by 2000 uh, let's see 2000 and now we have the the box and I and I'm going to change some settings first in the physics uh, we are going to go to let's see air and here in the Y let's see let's put it at the top view and I want to see the airplane and let's see the Y the Y have to be in the X axis and because I want to go to the to like the airplane if flying I need to do it let's see minus and I'm going to put it 120 and now if I come to the active camera let's make a little preview well it is very slow so I'm going to change and uh, see velocity I'm going to put 200 and here in the wine I'm going to change it to 1000 let's see now now it is okay and now let's see we have horizon we have form and we have particular and now that we have particular we just need to put the let's see new solid in here I am going to put the star glow effect so effect trap code uh, star glow and star glow it's a very nice uh, no no I'm sorry because we don't have to make a solid we have to make an adjustment layer yeah uh, effect prep code star glow and now if we see a star glow make these awesome and sweet streaks and you know it makes it look very cool and all that stuff well here we have the basic this is the basic and we can make it a little bit a little bit more so uh, in the horizon so you know in the horizon I, I want to change uh, the color because it is too much you know too much brighter so I'm going to pre-compose this layer and I'm going to leave all the attributes in here I'm going to go to effect uh, let's see color correction curves and I'm going to put it down really really down and I'm going to punch up a little bit and here let's see okay now let's see here in the comp now we have it has a better color for the 
particles and all that to contrast. Now in the form layer, I want to change the particle from, let's see the color, I want to change to like a blue, let's see right here, a light blue. Mm, let's wait, and that's it, I'm going to put the particular in the, in the star glow off, just a little, just a little bit time, star glow. And I want to change, I'm going to make a new effect and I'm going to go to stylize and glow. And now they have a nice glow that, you know, it seems like an electronic war and all that stuff. You know, it seems pretty much the same as the movie Trump from Disney. Well, let's continue now in the particular layer. I want to change the rendering uh, from motion blur to comp settings to on. See? And yeah, you know, that looks pretty good. And in the physics, I want to put a little bit of gravity because all the particles have gravity. And I'm going to put zero point or zero comma. Six. The particles won't change too much, but they are the little things that change the thing. And here I'm going to put it down, up. Let's see now. Now that's great. And that's all. Now let me have here the star glow. And. That looks pretty good and I'm going to put a little bit down the the star glow layer. Let's see here. T for the opacity and I'm going to put 75. And you know uh, and I I also going to show you the the camera moving. So I'm going to go to the top view. And here in the camera, I'm going to put a keyframe into the position, and I'm going to put it more, more. See, uh, that's great. Now here, I'm going to move uh, like 10 seconds. I'm going to put it. See right there. Now, no, no, that's too much. Mm, where it is? Top. Active camera. Well, that's great. But uh, you know, I want that the camera goes into the the airplane. So I'm going to put this down. Let's see now. Great. You know, it's a great look. And now I'm going to change, um, let's see what it is, here in the camera, I'm going to put some depth of fill on, and now I'm going to change the focus distance to 50, let's wait for the low, because you know depth of fill, really, really long time to render, let's move the time a little bit mm, I think it's too much let's wait here in the focus distance I'm going to push 150 let's see 
well you know you can check to, to all these settings to make a you know to make really nice nice animation and another thing that I'm going to show you is the scatter particles that I make in the second example of the watch so I'm going to import another object let's see models and you know let's see something here my models and these uh, let's import this I don't know what it is and a new solid okay effect um turn code form and I got to shut off this base form OBJ and EA Phantom oh it is another airplane and put it down again and see okay and this now I'm going to make a new camera 24 millimeters okay and I'm going to rotate it okay now I am going to to, to okay and here in the what it is what it is the disperse and twist you're going to put a keyframe into this person I'm going to put 1000 and I'm going to move two seconds and zero now let's preview this well that makes you a very nice look and I am going to make is in and is out in this difference of two to to turbosquid.com it's a great page you can follow me there uh, my username is the productions rr like the like my channel name and you can download my models i have some free models and some pay models well my name is diego lopez and we are seeing next time